Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So I'm coming on guys because today is the day that I am doing the collab. The It's not really an open collab, well it is kind of an open collab, it is an open collab. It's friends having fun. It's just friends joining in and doing, um, and doing a copycat video. Okay guys, so um, check out my video after, check out my video, you are checking out my video right now. <laughs> How can you say, cut? Yes, okay, so, um, what I'm making, guys, is when I was in PA a couple of years ago with my bestie, um, we were up late one day and they're like, let's get this pizza from Domino's. It's so, so good, you're gonna die. For, I'm telling you, you're gonna die, it's so good. So I'm like, okay, so we got it, guys. It was the Alfredo bacon chicken Yummy pizza. pizza. Ranch pizza, okay? No, it doesn't have ranch. Alfredo. No no ranch, what are they talking about? Um, anyway, and so I made it a couple of weeks ago. We copycatted it a couple of we um, weeks ago, and it was good. It was really good, but it came out a little bit too crispy. It really wasn't that enjoyable. So what? No, wait a minute. We didn't make it. I no, bought it. We bought it. Super I'm losing my mind today. I'm losing my mind today, guys. I, I really am. It's early yet. We got it at at the Super Bowl at Domino's party. Domino's. We got it from Domino's. We ordered it, and it wasn't that great. It was kind of like just it was overcooked. Overcooked, and it really wasn't that awesome. So anyway, when I heard we were going to do this video, when I when I when when my friend Jerry Ellen from Cooking with Neighbors, uh, go check her out, guys. Go go check her out, she has a great channel. Um, she's gonna be doing one of these copycat videos. Hi, Jen. Um, when I heard when she was doing that, I said, oh God, maybe I could do the Alfredo copycat, the, the Alfredo pizza. So that's what I'm gonna do, okay? So let me get started. Now, what I did was, I didn't, I'm not using the um, the flour, I'm not using the, the bag of the, of the dough. I wanted to get these. So I got a, a pack of these, this is Great Value brand at Walmart. Um, they're thin pizzas. They're obviously not the greatest because one cracked on the side there. And the other one here is a little cracked itself. But we're gonna make do with what we have. We're gonna make it work. It will be fine. It's gonna be cut anyway, so it'll just be cut, you know, beforehand. Okay, so what I need for this, guys, is at need Alfredo sauce. Now, I usually make my own Alfredo sauce, but I decided to just buy the Alfredo sauce because the recipe calls for that, and I just wanted to do it kind of kind of authentic how, how they do it. Um, it says to use Colby, Colby cheese, and um, I think um, mozzarella maybe too, but I'm using, I'm using provolone, and I'm using Colby Jack cheese. And um, it calls for bacon, guys. And chicken. Now I have left like you, you, you can make it. Sometimes, like I, I think I made when we made it. Um, trying to think. No, we didn't get chicken on ours when we when we ordered it from Domino's. We just got the bacon and the Alfredo sauce and the cheese and stuff. But um, I, I, I think I got. I think we got chicken when we were at my girlfriend's. Um, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, the recipe has chicken in it. So I have leftover chicken that we had last night. So I'm going to put very small pieces of chicken on it. So it's gonna be chicken, bacon, the cheese, and the Alfredo sauce, guys. So I'm very excited. Now, I have the oven heated up to 400. I'm not going to put these in the oven beforehand because they're very thin. So they're only gonna take about eight minutes to cook. Anyway, just, you know, for everything to just heat up. Um, so I'm not going to um, put these, you know, uh, bake these, par bake these first. I'm gonna put everything on them and then put them in the oven and it says it says eight minutes. But you know what I didn't check out? Let me look at something on the on the temperature wise. Alright guys, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna cut up some chicken. I'm gonna mix, like I said, it's gonna be where's my it's gonna be small pieces. This chicken came out so good. Just small pieces of chicken. Okay, we don't want huge pieces. We don't want the chicken to take over because we wanna get all the other flavors too of the the Alfredo and um, the cheeses and all that. And I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything yet today. 
This is actually, you're, you're seeing this video on the 22nd, and this is the actual day that I'm making this video. I'm doing it on the day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna video it, and then I'm gonna post it, guys. So, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a nice amount, because, oh, well, yeah, because I have two, um, I have two pizzas I'm doing, too. I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything yet today. So let's cut up this chicken. This is from that roasting, those roasting chickens I made yesterday, guys. Those chickens from Walmart, that they're Purdue, Purdue brand, they were so delicious, guys. I'm telling you. Next time I go there, it's going to be like a regular thing that I buy now. I'm going to buy two and stick in my freezer. Just love having roasted chickens in the freezer and the refrigerator. It's just, it's just uh, such a good meal. Use it for sandwiches. That's why when I, whenever we make them, I love making extra. I always like, like yesterday, um, we definitely needed the three, you know, the three, but we had a little bit of leftover. Not, a, not an enormous amount. I have this, and then I have the the, um, the the carcasses downstairs that I have to still get more meat off of. I wanted to keep them so I can still get the meat off, maybe make a chicken salad with it or something like that. But, um, yeah, you get a lot out of it, and they're just good to have for lunch. So good. So get roasting chicken, guys. All right, that's all I'm going to cut up for that. Okay. Okay, we're going to put that aside, and now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this chicken and put it over here because I want to cut the bacon up here. I have to get... I have to get, um... Cutting up the bacon now. <coughs> and of course, I taste a little piece. And it went down the little pipe. <coughs> and now I'm choking. That's all right, guys. It'll be better. It'll be better before I get married. All right. I think that's fairly long. So. Making this just with you guys, so we're doing this together, guys. So we'll see how it comes out. Put this over there, move that over there, move this over here, get a little organized. Okay, so now let me get. Some other stuff. Okay, so I got everything ready. I got the Alfredo sauce. I got basil, parsley, um, onion powder, garlic powder, and I got pizza seasoning. Now, if my basil and my parsley was um, vibrant right now, I would be using the fresh, but I don't really have any. I use it up. I might have a little basil over there. I'll check it out and see, but um, so I'm using dry herbs right now. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I looked at the recipe already um, on the on the on the internet of the copycat, you know, Alfredo. So I have in my head. I know exactly what it is. It's very simple. You just put everything on and then put it in the and just put it in the oven. So um, that's what I'm going to do, guys. So it says to put the Alfredo sauce on the bottom. Mm. This now, like I said, I always, always, always make my own Alfredo sauce. I want to taste it. Mm. Pretty good. Definitely needs some grated cheese or something. But there's going to be lots of flavor in here. 
So I'm gonna spread this out. seen this right yes we're missing a piece but it is what it is note to self be careful with these pizza crusts I almost had to take out my other crust and use that you know the ones that I make up in the from the little um with the hot water I almost did that but I figured let me try to save salvage these they're thin I think the, I think it's gonna be okay okay all right, so I think that's enough of Alfredo sauce. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, it calls for, you know, um, shredded grated cheese. I actually got the um, the shaved. When I saw the shaved, I was like, ooh, the shaved looks good. I'm gonna put a little bit of the shaved. Parmesan cheese. Oh, guys, look at this. Mm, yummy. Okay. Spread this around. Yum. Oh. A little bit of that. Now I'm gonna put um I'm trying to think. I guess put the cheese on top. All right, let's do this. We'll put I'll do some chicken. Oh wait, let me do some seasoning. Some basil. Some onion powder. Some garlic powder. Some flavor. Some flavor. Parsley. And pizza seasoning. Woo! Okay. Top overboard. Right. Yeah, I just dropped some, I just dropped the top. Okay, so now I'm going to put some chicken on. Spread it out. Now, too, this chicken, this, this crust is very thin, so you don't want to over, overload it because then the whole thing is going to, you know, fall apart. I hope it I hope it's going to be good. We'll see. The only way you know, guys, if you try. So, but trying to create that twenty-one dollar pizza from literally, I think it was like twenty-one dollars that pizza at Domino's, which just takes like five dollars to make at home. It's crazy. It's crazy the way things cost. Oh. Sorry about that. Jenny's in the background. You know. There's nothing quiet when Jenny's in the next room. So. <laughs> so pay it is. Okay, so that's some chicken. Now I'm going to put some bacon. Guys, this looks so good. Bacon makes everything better. Julie's getting married. Julie's getting married. Sorry, guys. I'm just very excited. Very, very, very excited. Okay, the bacon. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put 
Oh, I gotta shred that cheese up. Ugh, I don't feel like doing that, but I guess I have to. Let me get the shredder. All right, so. Um. Oh my Lord. Let's just put this like this. <sighs> Guys, this smells, if I can tell you, amazing so far. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna shred some Colby Jack. Let's move this bacon over here a little bit so I can shred this over here. Shred all this up. Definitely use all of this. I'm so excited to see Jerry's and um, Cousin Mel, her video, she's going to be doing one. <sighs> All right, so I shredded up the cheese. I'm going to put a little bit of I'm gonna split it between the two pizzas. down below if you like if you're a provolone person love it this is so much fun making your own pizzas copycat oh i'm really excited for jerry's guys you have to go to jerry ellen from cooking with neighbors she's making something oh i'm so excited to see it she said it came out exactly like the place that she made it from Go check it out. I'm That's my first video I'm going to go check out because I want to make it because I, what she made was I love it. I love it. And she said it tasted just like it. So there you go, guys. I want to tell you so bad, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Now. little extra pizza seasoning and a little bit of olive oil. Mm. Okay, let's make the other one. Look guys. Mm. Oh, you know what I want to also put a little bit more olive on? It's the Parmesan. Listen, it's not a diet meal. Not a diet meal. Here we go. Let's fill the other one. Sorry if my head's in the way. Okay. A couple spoonfuls of the Alfredo. Mmm. Like I said, this one's going to be a little precarious over here because of the the break. It's okay. Okay, perfect. Some of the cheese. What did I do before? I did the chicken, I think, after that, right? The chicken.
breaking it up a little bit more because like I said, I don't want it in huge pieces. One more spoonful. One more spoonful always becomes two or three in my world. Okay. All right, so we got the chicken. Now, where's the bacon? Oh, here it is. Oh, bacon. Guys, I can't wait to have this. I cannot wait to taste this. Now the shredded cheese. Oh wait, let me do the seasonings. Garlic. Onion. Basil. Pizza seasoning. Where's my parsley? Hello. here. Where's the parsley? This is pizza season. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Okay, um, now the cheese. And the provolone. Just leave it big. Why would I even cut it? Okay, guys. One piece left over for Mama. <laughs> it's for a little bit. A little bit of olive oil and a little bit of more parm and we're done we're gonna put it in to the oven now it says eight minutes so let's see what eight minutes is oh here's parsley my mind sometimes. You ever feel like you're losing your mind? Okay. All right, I'm going to put this in the oven, guys. I'm going to set the timer for eight minutes, and we'll be back to show you them. So excited. Alfredo Domino's copycat, hopefully. All right, guys, I got one out. I'm going to get the other one now. Oh. That looks great. I'm going to give it a minute to just settle and then I'm going to cut them and taste them for you guys. I do, I want to put this light on again. I'm going to, um, I do have a little bit of basil leaves on here, so I'm just going to throw a little bit on whatever I have. Guys, I can tell you, this smells, it smells amazing. It literally, and we're gonna do a taste test, okay?
basil, fresh basil and parsley, guys. Do it. Okay, now this is a copycat, so I got to see if it's just as good as the original that I had in PA. All right, let me get the pizza cutter. <clears throat> Where is the pizza cutter? I used it before, so let me just rinse it off and dry it up. Pizza's done! All right, guys, let's slice it. Oh my God, this looks so amazing. Oh my God. Look at that. Crunchy. Guys, this looks so yummy. All right, I'm gonna get my stacks and I'm gonna get a piece. guys blow to the string oh. I'm gonna put a couple of little extra pieces of that I can get up from this basil plant a little bit of parsley I don't have much parsley there's only a little bit because I've been using it I use it as a grow who's my son's like why isn't it growing? I'm like, it's growing. I just said, I'm using it. I love it. All right, guys, let's go sit at the table. Oh, God, I got to have this. That's like the gooey, the gooeyness. All right, let's bring you over here. Okay, guys. I'm literally still going crazy over this pizza. So, so, so good. Make it for your family, guys. I'm going to put the description, I'm going to put the recipe in the description below. You can always even just go, just go um, Google it to copycat avocado, avocado, Alfredo, <laughs> copycat Domino's pizza too, if you'd like, but so good. The bacon is delicious. I, next time, I'll probably put a little bit more bacon because I just like more of a bacon flavor. I'm still eating it. So good. Anyway. Now I gotta finish two of them before I talk. Because I just couldn't wait. And I'll tell you. These crusts from um, Great Value um, from Walmart are good. The, the Great Value brand, it broke a little bit, but it's weird because it's crisp, but yet it's soft. You know what I mean? Like, if you can understand that. It's really odd, but it's delicious. All right, guys, copycat Alfredo bacon chicken from Domino's, guys. Go make it. All right, so listen. March 3rd, I'm going to be doing an open collab with for um, Mexican dishes. Okay, it's going to be close to Cinco de Mayo. I thought people would really like to have a new Mexican or a Mexican dish that they can go to if they want to, try it out, whatever. So that's March. Is that March 3rd? Let me just make sure because I'm so forgetful. 
But I don't remember what I did, what I heard two seconds ago. March third is when the open collab is going to be. So if you want to join in, join in, guys. Go to my playlist and and I mean go to my um my comments and tell me, hey Linda, I put my I put my I put my hey Linda, I put my video up. Can you please put it on your playlist? And I will do that. Guys, try and um, join in. It's going to be a lot of fun. If not, just go to the playlist and check out all the, all the recipes. Whoever's going to be there. Could be three people. Could be two people. Could be eight people. I don't know. But there will be good recipes on there. March 3rd, guys. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button on the bottom. And don't forget to hit that notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. Also, hit the subscribe. And if you're new here, thank you so much for coming and thank you so much for watching. I hope you like what you see. Please comment below. Love when you guys comment. And if you're old here, old here, thank you so much for always being here and supporting me and commenting. I love it, guys. You guys make my life joy and it just, I love doing this. Anyway, that's my spiel for today. So don't forget to hit all those buttons and I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys. See you on the next one. I'm going to go finish eating my pizza now. Bye.